All right, just going to do a video exposing the fact that Brian Dillinger is actually subtly pushing dietary restrictions on his followers. And how he does this is he actually uh, implies and equates eating fast food to sin. And he equates eating junk food to sin. And he equates eating junk food to sin and having, quote, your belly as your God. He quotes from Philippians, I believe it's 3.19, and, and says that eating junk food is having your belly as your God. You know, uh, seriously? Again, this is nothing more than just pushing dietary restrictions, unscriptural dietary restrictions. Now, obviously, fast food and junk food is not good for you, hence why it's called junk food, okay? But it's not a sin to eat that stuff. I mean, that's it's insane, okay? It's not good for you. You shouldn't do it if you want good health, but you're not going to go to hell. It's not a sin if you do eat it. And, of course, Brian Dillinger is not making it into a salvation issue, but the fact that he's saying it's a sin to eat certain types of food is nothing more than just simple dietary restrictions being forced on the saints, no different than what the Roman Catholic Church does. So here's the first clip of him uh, equating eating fast food to sin. Watch this. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. Destruction and misery. I came here to edify you, but it's going to lead to your destruction because you're rejecting the truth that I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know, you ought to give up the uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. You ought to give up this fast food. So I'll not give it up. I'm just going to keep eating it. Seriously, Brian? Again, I'm not, I'm not for fast food. I don't think it's really the best for you. I mean, it's a proven fact that fast food, uh, if you eat it consistently, you're going to get all kinds of problems because there's chemicals in the food. They put all kinds of chemicals. I mean, why do you think it's made so fast? Because they, they chem have all kinds of toxic chemicals in those food. So, I mean, obviously it's not good for you, but saying it's a sin to eat it, you're really having to, to stretch scripture and twist scripture wildly to actually be able to, to convince yourself of that. But here's the next clip where Brian Dillinger equates having junk food to sin and having your belly as your God. I mean, you can't make this kind of stuff up. Watch this. These false converts out there who reject the edification that I bring and others, uh, other Bible-believing, saved, born-again Christians try to bring into your life, tell you to turn from these sins and turn from this wickedness. You reject that stuff. You're an enemy of the cross of Christ. Look at what happens. Verse 19. Whose end is what? Destruction. Whose God is their belly. I like a little bit of fast food once in a while. I like a little bit of this. And, amen. I like a smorgasbord. I like to eat my junk food. I like to... But God's their belly. And this is exactly why Brian Dillinger is accused of being of being legalistic and backloading works because he may not equate this to salvation, but this is this is full on legalism. This is Phariseeism, you know, dietary restrictions. And here are some scriptures proving that this is actually unbiblical and wicked of him to push us on the saints. Romans chapter fourteen verses one to six uh, says. Him that is weak in the faith receive you, but not to doubtful disputations. For one believeth. And he may eat all things. Another who is weak eateth herbs. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. And let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth. For God hath received him. Who art thou that judgest another man's servant to his own master? He standeth or falleth. Yea, he shall be holden up. For God is able to make him stand. One man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regardeth the day regardeth it unto the Lord, and he that regardeth not the day to the Lord doth he not regard it. Uh, he that eateth, eateth to the Lord, for he giveth God thanks, and he that eateth not to the Lord, he eateth not, and giveth God thanks. And you can also compare this over to 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 to 5, where it talks about how you pray over your food, and that's what makes it clean. See, there is no dietary restrictions or unclean food we can have today that we can't, that we're, not, that we're, not, that we're basically forbidden to eat today because it sanctifies the word of God in prayer. Okay? But apparently Brian doesn't think so. And again, he's not outright pushing the, the Old Testament vain Jewish dietary laws, but uh, it's just another way of, of repackaging legalism for the saints. I thought it was when we really get down to it. Another scripture that makes a problem for Brian Dillinger's error on this matter. Uh, Colossians chapter 2, verses 16 down to verse 22. And this verse pretty much describes Brian Dillinger perfectly in these clips I just showed. All right, sorry about that. Had a bit of an interruption there. So anyway, back to the scripture. Colossians chapter 2, verses 16 down to verse 22. 
says, Let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of the holy day, or of the new moon, or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary, a voluntary humility, and worshipping of angels, intruding into those things with which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and, and not holding his head, from which all the body by joints and, and bands having nourishment ministered and knit together increaseth with the increase of god wherefore if you be dead with christ from the rudiments of the world why as though living in the world are you subject to ordinances look at this touch not taste not handle not who are all to, who are all to perish who all are to perish with the using after the commandments and doctrines of men hmm. touch not taste not you know like oh don't eat fast food don't eat junk food which what, what does it say here after the commandments and doctrines of men you see, what Brian Dellinger is pushing is nothing more than the commandments and doctrines of men. You go up to Colossians 2, verse 8, talks about you know philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men. That's what Brian Dellinger is pushing right there. Philosophy, vain deceit, and the traditions of men. Commandments and doctrines of men. That's all that it is. There's no scripture that backs that up. So, like we see there, Brian Dellinger is subtly pushing these vain dietary restrictions on his followers. Okay, And this is just to further show the kind of errors Brian Dellinger has been recently promoting and how he's really just gone off the deep end. And it's not a new thing. It's been going on for years and years and years. But that's a simple fact of the matter. So don't be deceived. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.